feeling pretty good. I'm, I'm nervous, but I'm also really excited for all this to happen. And I've been waiting for a while and like thinking about this day for like ever since I was little. So really exciting. To me, I think it's like mostly just having everyone here with me. It makes me really happy to because I sometimes I don't see a lot of people. So. It's everyone's here to be together and be happy and celebrate life and just like how far we've made it. So. Since the day I was pregnant, I thought about this day um, when I found out I was having a little girl. I thought about this day and how special it would be and you know what we would do and how all these plans and it's crazy to know that today is the day and we've been planning for a long time, a lot of stress, a lot of arguments. <laughs> everything to just make this day be like everything that we've envisioned. She's been talking about quinceañera since five or six years old. She played, hey, this is my quinceañera when she was at that age, playing that she's gonna get married. And, They've always lived in this like fairy tale world, which is pretty awesome as a kid. So we were looking for a dress here and I saw one that I liked, but it still wasn't like what I had envisioned a while ago. So my dad took me down to El Museo with my family and we went to go see Lupita and she basically, she had me try on some dresses and then she sat us down and she helped us design it and she made it really special and she was really excited. We were all really excited about it. I think to me, it's my mom was really like excited. She wanted something more traditional, but I wanted like a colored dress because that's what I had always like envisioned. And what makes this dress more me is like the sparkle in it and how it kind of looks like it's made out of a Disney movie or it was inspired by a Disney movie. And that it was just really special to me. The dress makes me feel like a princess. I think the best moment we've had, there's so many. Um, I guess the designing of her dress, going out there, having the road trip with it, just being me, her and her dad, and um, you know, her dad being involved in picking out the fabrics and seeing this design come to life. That's been a very like memorable moment. And also just me and her doing our late night silliness when we're making the invitations and we're just laughing and, and her dad comes in and is like, time to go to bed, that's enough. And we're just, we're just we're so into, involved in what we're doing and just joking around, that's like the best. That was the best time, just, just, just making the invitations. Just, just making time to spend with not only Emily, but my wife and my other kids. And I, I just, just everything, the whole experience, just taking the time and knowing what's, what's important in life. Just showing them what I thought my personal perspective with different textures and materials and colors. And it's just giving my opinion and they took it pretty well. And she's, Emily's just a beautiful, wonderful little girl. She's so deserving of this day and everything we've put into it. We're just so proud of her and so excited to celebrate this day with her. Maybe to be more relaxed because I was really stressed out and now it's just, it's not as stressful and right now I'm just happy. And I was really like uptight and kind of snappy with everyone. So just maybe have more fun with it and be more calm. Oh, my God.
Riding in the limo, getting ready with them. So very nerve wracking to think that it's actually here. Like it seems, it seemed so far away like a week ago, but now it's actually here. We know you But I just love her and enjoy every life experience. It's better to fail than not to try. I'm excited, but it, but it scares me just to look at the future and not know something that I can't control. I have to do a reading, and I don't like talking in front of people, so it just gives me anxiety, but I'm excited. My faith gave me the courage to keep going through hard times and just be there for my family and not distance myself from everyone. It led me to be the person I am today. The proudest moment I've had with Emily is just seeing her faith and since she was a very little girl, she would she was just so dedicated to her faith and church and she would get us and let's go, mom, we're going to go do your confession. And I'm like, OK, you know, she would guide us. And it was just very like very just very heartwarming to see her so little be so dedicated to her faith and helping people and just on her own, like just on her own. Want to want to raise food for people in need. And so just seeing her, that's that makes me proud to know that she's just this little being that is just like that on her own. I can't. I remember when we were little, and we hang out and we went to the beach. I still have photos Yeah? Ten of them. Hi. You look beautiful. Bro, I sold that damn basket. Oh, we're so little. Are you, yeah, you're officially all. Thank you. Sorry I knocked down the chair. That was so embarrassing. I was like, oh my gosh, no, I was about to flip out. I was about to tweak. When I flipped over the chair. It was freaking my It was so Yeah, it was so. Yeah, it was so embarrassing. No, I literally wanted to cry. I was like, <laughs> and it just gracefully. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Don't cry. Happy birthday, yeah. Congratulations, Emily. Everything is so beautiful. <laughs> oh my goodness. You look amazing. Happy birthday. Okay. Oh, we're going to go to the kitchen and we're going to go Um, Do you want to go into my mom? I thought it was going to be like a long time away. Like I thought I didn't have to worry about it and that it would just be something that would go and we wouldn't have to plan as much, but it's really big and it went by really fast. It's really just important to us. Um, we thank God that uh, we're able to bless her with this and she's a great person. Been pounding. Great daughter, and uh, there's nothing more I can ask for. Trying to change. Thanks everybody for coming out today. Happy I birthday, Emily. Today is her real birthday. Huh? It makes me really like appreciative of her because it, like she's constantly putting herself 
after me. So she's putting herself, she's putting me before her. And she's always done that. And she stays up all night and all day to make sure like this is like very special to me and my friends. We'd say it's a very special day we've been planning for and we're happy that everyone's here to celebrate with us and thank you to the court. They've worked so hard on all these dances, months of planning and we're here today and we're glad that everyone's here to celebrate with us. Thank you so much. Like we grow into each other, like we, you know, experience everything together for the first time and being a mom and all this thing, you know, like. Growing up together, really, you know, learning to be a mom, learning to be a better mom. And I just want to thank everyone for coming out today. All of you guys mean like so much to me and so many of you I grew up with or I've just grown up with my, grown up with my whole life. And it's really important to me that you guys are here and especially my court who we had troubles, we have had ups and downs. We've had fun, we've had arguments, but at the end of the day, they're still there for me. And I couldn't ask for better friends. So I just want to thank all of you. Besides my parents, the people that I really appreciate being here and that have always been there for me is my Nino and my two friends, Starla and Milani. My Nino has like, always been there. When I was little, he drove like more than 30 minutes to go hang out with me and he would take me to go do stuff. And that's, he would always do that. And he still does that. And my friend Starla, we've only known each other for three years, but we've gotten really close and she's been there for me through it all. And my friend Milani and me have been friends for 12, 13 years maybe. We've had fights, but all we're still really good friends. And I, I think that's a friend that we keep for a lifetime. We're just excited and can't wait just for us to have a moment. You know, as, as they turn into teenagers, you know, they always look at their friends, at their moms, and you know, kind of sometimes we feel like we're left in the background. Waking up to her, I hear the girl singing happy birthday, so I rush in there and she has this big smile on her face and it was just such a cute moment for her and I'm glad she was able to spend that with her friends. And seeing her okay getting ready and I'm just looking at her like this little little baby girl I had now she's gonna be 15 and seeing her getting her makeup done she something she liked to do when she was really little too <laughs> so it's just like I still see that little girl but and, you know now she's grown up dance with my court they like all my friends we've worked so hard on it and we came from like a two to like a solid eight so it's we're all really excited for it and it's gonna be something that we're all gonna remember for a while From this day, I think the thing I'm gonna cherish most is seeing how being able to see like how she's gonna transition from her little, being a little girl into a woman and being celebrating that, like the shoe change and seeing all the hard work that she's put in and just seeing all this come to like life and the dance with her dad and all these little like her speech and stuff like that, that's what I'm gonna cherish most and that's gonna be my proud moment. The brother, I dance with my dad because that's something that we I've been planning for like two years now 
and we're all looking forward to it and I think I'm most excited for probably doing surprise dance with my court. like we've all been looking forward to and this is like I doesn't even feel real right now and my Nino has always been there for me and so have they so it's all really big and special and emotional. <laughs> <laughs> 